<coughs> hello everyone and welcome to the second tutorial uh, okay in this tutorial uh, i will start with the visual studio code uh, if you are familiar with visual studio code then you can start uh, flutter application development with visual code and how you set up the environment for flutter in visual studio code uh, so first of all uh, just open the visual studio code and press Control shift plus p and you will see this uh, panel over here and you can simply type extension and select the first option which is install extensions okay from here you can search uh, flutter or you can search a dot but um, for flutter um, plugin you can install uh, this flutter plugin <clears throat> as i i already have installed the flutter plugin for visual code so from here you can install the flutter plugin and also you can write dot and you can also install the dart plugin from here and you can also uh, install uh, beautify code beautifier <coughs> code beautifier from from the extension panel and once you are done with this you can simply create a new application for flutter and in the previous video uh, i have told you how to install the, the flutter sdk and how to set up the environment for android studio and how to set up the environment variables for flutter uh, flutter sdk so if you install the flutter uh, plugin in visual code then you can go with this control plus shift plus p and write new project and you can see that this is the option flutter new project click on this and you will see another you will see another dialog uh, which will ask you for the name of the flutter project for example um, i have a project hello world and now press enter and now it will ask you to specify the path of the flutter application where you want to create the flutter application so i am going to create this application on the desktop uh, now select the folder and click select a folder to create the project project in this folder okay once you are created you create this uh, project you will see uh, you will see the flutter project uh, running running in the background and this is the analyzer which will build the flutter project for you and here you can see that these are the files generated by the flutter sdk by default and it contains the android part the android section the ios section and this is the lip section which is most important and we will code and we will use this lip folder and inside this lip folder we have a we have another file uh, which is a flutter which is a main to dot and you can see that um, this is the default code as uh, in the previous video we also have a default code for the flutter application and if i run this application it will show 
uh, an application with the uh, with the floating action button and if I press uh, if I press the floating action button it will increase the text value uh, increment the text value in the center of the body so this is the whole code and do not afraid to see the code it is very easy to learn and I will show you how to write and how to code the hello world application in Flutter if you want to run the application in the Flutter uh, first of all you need to create an emulator or you need to uh, connect your physical device um, with your system but I have already um, opened the emulator over here so uh, you can uh, easily start the emulator uh, from the visual code so press ctrl shift p and ask and write a command launch and you can see that this is the launch emulator if I click on this it will ask me uh, which emulator you want to start so I have already start the Nexus 4 Nexus 4 and I have the second emulator pixels EPI 28 but uh, let's run the application okay so if you want to run the application press uh, press F5 or you can click on this debug and click on the start debugging but this is a shortcut key f5 if you press the f5 button you will see this dialog uh, <coughs> which contains some buttons uh, this is the stop button if you want to stop the application and this is the restart application button and this is the pause button so let's wait uh, for the application to build and it will run on the on this simulator uh, which is nothing but uh, a simple application uh, which contains a uh, text view and a floating action button mm, okay if i go to the explorer here you can see that I have a project in hello world and this is the android section and this is the application section source and this is the java and this is the package name and this is the main activity of dart and you can see that this is a java code you can see and uh, from here you can also you can also go to the IES section uh, the, these sections are for native application code if you want to build some plugins or if you want to mm, develop some modules for the native development uh, particular for the IES or Android you can add the native code over here but if you want to create a hybrid application uh, which works on both android and ios you can use the lib folder and you can create the uh, lib folder and the dart files and here you can uh, see that my application is now running and <coughs> it will show in this uh, this screen and this screen contains the action bar and this is the uh, text view these are the text views and this is the floating action button if I press this button it will increase uh, it will increment the value of the text view and here you can see the banner uh, which is the debug banner and um, it tells us that your application is in debugging mode <coughs> your application is in debugging mode whenever you release the application uh, this this banner will remove so if you want to remove this banner you can simply uh, add a property debug check mood banner debug show check mood banner false 
and now save the project and you will see that the banner mode has been removed okay so now i want to create the hello world application and you will see that how the hello world application how i can uh, how you can create the hello world application in the flutter so let's start coding for this one okay first of all remove this code and now first of all import the material dot dot library and as uh, we are starting with the main function so void main and lambda function run app and inside this i have a class my app okay i don't have this my app class so i will select this my app and click on this button and it will tell it will show me you can um, create the my class for example my class uh, my app class so i will create this with the stateless widget stl whenever i whenever i type stl it will create it will create a stateless widget which is my app okay this is the stateless widget i have created and this is the build function inside the stateless widget this is the overriding function which is a build function and inside this it returns a container which contains a child so <clears throat> i change this child with the text and i use hello world okay so let's save the application and see what happens okay it is not working because um, i i don't have a scaffold so first of all i will create return scaffold and inside this i will create app bar and i will create the properties of app bar which is a title and the title of this uh, this app bar is going to be the text which is my app and the body okay this is the app bar and now we have a body which is a center and the center of the body we have a child which is a text and this text is hello so <clears throat> okay if i change this with the return material app and inside material app we have a theme of the application which is a theme data and the primary switch uh, we have a color for example colors dot blue and we have a home property which is a text and this text is salam pakistan and as you can see that this is the hello world program which is not looking good but uh, we will create a structure structure for this uh, material application so i will change this with the scaffold and let's start with the app bar and the title of this app bar is going to be 
google text which is my app and the color of the text bar is colors dot blue okay another one is the body and the body contains this and the body is the center and inside the center we have a child which is a text and this text is hello world okay so now you can see that this is the material application and we have a theme primary switch and the color is blue and we have a home and this is the home and we have a scaffold which is a structure of the screen and the scaffold contains the app bar which is this one the app bar the title of the app bar is the my app and the background color is blue if i change this with the orange color you can see the changes in orange and if i change with the black okay so this is the body which is in this one this portion and the body is the center and inside the center the center have a child which is a text which is hello world okay so change this with the okay so you can edit this color and you can also change the my first app okay so if i want to remove this banner you can add the debug show check mode banner to false and you will see that it will remove the banner as well so this is the first application in the flutter you can how you can create the flutter application the hello world in uh, uh, using visual studio code